Hi, it's Dougie Wood, and in this episode of our Microsoft Teams tips, we're going to be talking about creating read receipts inside of Microsoft Teams. Now, we're all familiar with how the read receipts functionality works with inside of Outlook, where we can send an email to somebody and ask that they confirm that they read it. Now, we don't have something directly in the same functionality to this inside of Teams, but I'm going to show you a tip of how you can post something very similar to get people to react to it giving you a list of names of people who have confirmed they've seen your message. So jumping into my Microsoft team, let's say, for example, there's going to be a change to the shift rotor and it's already been issued once, but we want to make sure that our team actually is aware that the shift rotor has changed. So as a line manager, I know that I'm not going to have get any unforeseen issues where staff are turning up on the wrong days or not turning up at all. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new conversation by clicking this button down here and then clicking on the formatting options and suggesting a subject line maybe of uh, shift rotor change. And this is going to be uh, quite important. Um, so we're going to use this important tag on the right hand side. So it's going to glow and it's going to give a big red important that um, someone's actually going to see this. Now, I'm actually going to also attach um, the document. Uh, in question. So I'm going to click on this attachment, click on browse teams channels, and then I'm going to select my team wrote Excel document, which I've previously uploaded, then click on share a link so everyone can see the latest wrote information. I'm going to tag in all of um, my team to let them know. So I'm going to say type in project X, because that's the name of the team I'm currently inside of, and say, uh, please be aware that the shift rotor has changed. Now, here's the trick. There's no read receipt functionality directly built inside of Microsoft Teams. But what you, what you can do instead is you can say, please like this conversation once you have read the new Team Rotor. Then when I post this, again, um, and if you've not seen the video, we talked a bit about alerts, notifications, tags, things like that in previous um, video of this playlist. So please go check that out if you've not seen it. But I've tagged everyone in here so we know that all of our team members will have got notified by this. It's using the important tag, so it's going to show up as an important with an exclamation mark against the channel. So people can visually see that it's important uh, that the shift rotor has actually changed. But when people actually then see this, they're going to come in and they're going to hover over. And now we can see these reactions. So these reactions not only will, will can be used in a way of uh, showing that you like something or love something or find a particular thing funny or shocking, for example, um, you can use it in this read receipt for, sort of feature. So when people click on like, you'll see that when you hover over, you'll see a list of everybody that's liked this particular post. Now, this acts as your read receipt. As I say, we've then got this um, as a list of everybody who's liked this, showing that they've read it. Because studies have actually shown that you're much more likely to get a quick reaction, like on social media with Facebook, where you've got the like buttons, or on Instagram with the hearts. It's much easier and quicker for someone to do that than it is for them to reply directly and say, uh, yes, I have seen this sort of thing. You're much more likely to get someone to quickly react to something, which gives you a nice list of everyone who's seen it. So now, as a manager, I know that all of my team members have actually seen that there's a change in the shift rotor. And I know that I'm not going to get any unforeseen issues on the days. Hopefully you found those tips around the read receipts inside of Microsoft Teams really useful. If you did, please do like this video, subscribe to the channel for more Microsoft Teams tips, and also check out the playlist of all the other um, Teams top tips as well. If you've got any thoughts or questions, please use the comments box below and let me know if there's any other videos that you'd like to see. Thank you.